Can everybody hear me? I can hear you, Terry. Oh, hi, Angela. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Sorry, I just I asked the question because I just had a, a message come up on my screen that said, um, Zoom detects an, uh, a problem with your audio. With my audio? No, my audio. Oh, yours. Okay, yeah. I can do fine. Yeah, no, it said it detected a problem and it said, um, put in your computer password to restart the audio. I was like, oh. Oh. oh, no, don't do this to me now. Not now, no. <laughs> How are you? I am fabulous. Do wow, look goodness. at you. You look wonderful. Thank you. Thank how, are, you. how are things out in the lovely state of Washington out in Seattle today? Well, I think fall is finally here because the little mist has started. The gray skies and the mist. Now I'm back and living in the produce section of the grocery store again. Where the mist comes out <laughs> every every three minutes and a good and the sun comes out. So it's all good though. Yeah. It was cool here today in uh, in Ontario. Um in Toronto, kinda of dreary and overcast. But um certainly that's uh that's this time of year, that's for sure. So yes, it is. Uh, and our offices look similar. I have a little window behind me in my little office. You're, you're probably oh, hey. Almost exactly the same. I eh? know. <laughs> I know. Wow, we are in some phenomenal momentum. I just saw that 81, 81 new people. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's 81 new people per se. We've right. learned that, that sometimes other team members, they've already been here and they're learning and they add people to the team page or whatever. But regardless, 81 new people Jeez. to our team page. In phenomenal. One, it's That's crazy, phenomenal. crazy momentum and the stories that I'm hearing about people walking up to people in booths saying, I know what this does. I need socks. I need insoles. That's amazing. It's wild. So crazy. So exciting. Yeah, 280 some odd people, 285 or something uh, in my top eight this month alone. Wow, Terry. That's amazing. People. That's amazing. So, we got a good thing going here, folks. We got an amazing thing. Stay the course. Stay absolutely. the course, right? Absolutely. So I am absolutely delighted and thrilled, as always, to have my dear friend and my partner, Angela Brown, as our trainer tonight. I know that you're a sought-after commodity, <laughs> but I got dibs on you for tonight. That's all that matters. So I am just absolutely excited that you took up the challenge to – um, do our training tonight. Not that it's a challenge for you because you're so darn good at it. And I know that the field is just excited to see what you have to share. And for those of you on the call that haven't met the wonderful, vivacious, caring, kind, beautiful, good friend of mine, Angela Brown, man, you guys are in for a treat tonight because this girl can rock the house. Um, she is an entrepreneur. She has built multi-million dollar companies in the network marketing industry. She is a John C. Maxwell, Maxwell certified coach and speaker. She travels all over the world speaking to um, companies, presidents, executives, um, students, you name it, on uh, empowering them to be their best and to um, motivate them uh, in, in whatever their field that they're doing in this time. So. Um, if you've ever read Angela's bio, man, it's, it's awesome. And I'm just delighted to, to not only have her as our teammate in Vox Life, but also as a personal friend. And that to me is where the real joy is. So without further ado, I'm absolutely delighted to have Angela talk to us and do some training tonight on her system and utilizing her system of the two plus two plus two to hold a sock and soul party and to help you do that using this system. So thank you, Angela, and take it away, girl. It's all yours. Oh, Terry, thank you. I just take you with me all of the time. You're so <laughs> awesome. And I'm so glad I hunted you down to sponsor me a few months ago. It's always my pleasure to be on the call this year with Vaccination. And, um, you know, I was excited. You wanted me to talk about a little bit about the, um, you know, how to book and hold sock and soul parties using the two plus two plus two strategy. 
And I'm going to get right down to business tonight. We only have 30 minutes. So I'm going to make sure I give you all the maximum power punch in this call tonight. So first of all, let me just do a quick shout out to my personal team, the Legacy Builders team, and for your dedication in implementing the two plus two plus two strategy and believing in that and being dedicated and disciplined around that strategy. We're going to talk about that. You guys have, have really blazed the trail um, for me and for our team in that way. So I'm so proud of all of you. So how to book and hold sock and soul parties using the two plus two plus two strategy. Uh, so let me just kind of preface that by saying that we kind of redefined what success is. Success is not really going out every day and gauging your success by how many new associates you bring on or, you know, or how much you sold in, um, in one day. Success is really determined by how much did you put into the disciplines that are necessary to generate success. So when we say how we define success, we don't define success by the home runs. We define success by how many times you actually keep getting up to bat. You got to get up to bat in order to hit the ball. So are you even getting up to the plate? That's what I want to encourage all of us to do is to just kind of have a different perspective on what winning is. Winning is getting out there, giving 150% focus and discipline and dedication every single day. So with that being said, the two plus two plus two strategy is about doing just that. It's about doing three main disciplines every day, okay? Three main disciplines, but doing it twice. So let's talk about what that is. Uh, the first thing I wanna talk about is um, there's a secret sauce to all of this, and the secret sauce is a word that starts with a C. It starts, it's called consistency. So it's one thing to have a formula of two plus two plus two or doing these disciplines, but if we don't do it consistently, it doesn't mean anything. So consistency will be a word you're gonna hear me saying over and over tonight, which is key. My legacy builders know that they gotta go out every single day and show up. You gotta go in and put your work in every day. Once you get it done, you're good. You won the day, all right? So it's about winning the day. So the first thing in booking and holding sock and soul parties, by the way, I had a, um, a call with, um, with Jay a couple of weeks ago and he was talking about sock and soul parties and he was all excited about sock and soul parties and um, it really didn't click with me until a few days later because jay said to me he said there are people out there selling millions and millions of dollars of candles <laughs> every single month and we have neurotechnology there's no reason why we shouldn't be just skyrocketing past everyone with what we have in our, in our hands. So that resonated. And so that got me thinking, gosh, you're so right. And then I heard that call with uh, Paul Austin and Jen and Terry last week. I was on a plane getting ready to take off. And I heard these numbers, the success stories with all of these sock and souls. I said, okay, I'm gonna just get over myself. <laughs> I'm going to hone in on the sock and soul thing because from a business perspective, I can't think of a better, more efficient, more effective use of my time than to consolidate all of my efforts into these events or these gatherings or these parties. So how do I book them? And I went back to what I did from the very beginning when I built my first multi-million dollar business. It was all about the gatherings, all about the parties, all about consolidating my time and my effort on getting groups of people together. So the first thing that I do and the thing that I teach all of my coaching clients and in other industries to do is you got to have a, I call it the FAST, F-A-S-T, 50 list. FAST 50. A FAST 50 list is a list of all of my prospective host or hostesses that I want to host a sock and soul party. And so as a business person, I'm going to be really strategic about that list. I'm going to always go with the path of least resistance. I'm going to talk with people that I know. And I'm not going to prejudge. It's going to be real fast and furious, just keeping this list of 50 people on this list always going. So at first, I start with my warm market, people who I know. 
My next list is going to be people who are already box customers of mine, people who have already tried and love the technology. And then the next phase are people who I have yet to meet, people who I go out at Starbucks or just meet on the street and people that I come in contact with. But the key is 50 because when I go into the next phase, so basically my strategy is with the first two, with the booking of, of these parties and events is, I gotta add two people to my fast 50 list a day. So I'm gonna start with my initial 50, all right? So that's your first assignment, is to build your prospect list of fresh people, not people who you've already you know, beat up on your list, that you've contacted, they didn't call you back, you don't get a response. That's not good for your psyche. Okay, I do a mind hack, and that's where I have to keep that list fresh and exciting because when I go to that list, it's like it's like showtime. I gotta be excited, I gotta be pumped up, I gotta be on. And so those people need to hear something from me that the that, that's the next best thing to slice bread. So I'm excited to call them, I'm excited to share with them something that's new. But if I have an old beat up list, I'm not gonna be real enthusiastic about getting on the phone because this is about getting on the phone and making contact with people all right so my fast 50 list is where it starts i gotta have 50 people at one time so if i am adding two people a day to that list i'm also going to be rolling people off of that list so when i pick up the phone and actually dial i need to make contact with two people from my list a day to invite them to host a Sock and Soul party. So you see how that works? My first two of my two plus two is to add two people a day to my Fast 50 list. Now I can find those people through just out and about, or I can go on LinkedIn or Facebook or find people, or maybe it's a referral, but I'm about the business of trying to keep that list constantly going, constantly fresh and exciting so that I will want to be the messenger of good news, right? So that's my job. So if I can deduce my success to one thing, to one job, and that's to keep a fresh Fast 50 list, and I can earn six figures by keeping a Fast 50 list and keeping it fresh and always keeping it replenished, would you do it? I think we would. I think we would focus on that. So that's my list. So I got my list, so I got my two in today. I've added two people to my list. Now it's time to go to the next part of the two plus two, and that is where I actually go out and I get on the phone, and yes, I'm excited because these people don't know what's about to rock their world. Now, if I had something you know, that wasn't exciting or something that was depressing or sad news to tell them, yes, I wouldn't be excited, but we have this awesome neurotech. So why wouldn't you want to be the first person to get on the phone, to contact them? And I'm talking about get on the phone, people. Pick up the phone and call them because you cannot put a price tag on your enthusiasm and your belief when you contact them. So I'm going to tell you some verbiage that I say because I just booked them. Because I've been on this. My team will tell you, when I got the, got the bug, I just went crazy with the sock and soul because it just like the, the gates of heaven open up and I'm just on a total mission here to do these things. So what I do, I call at least two people a day to ask for their support in my mission of improving the health and quality of life for a billion people by simply hosting a fun and informative sock and soul party. That's what, that's the nature of the call. I have exact verbiage. I'll be happy to role play this with Terry at the end because I wrote out word for word. I've, I've learned from my team that sometimes I know things in my head, but they want me to get like, just drill it all the way back. So actually wrote out word for word. This is not word for word, but I can do that later if we have time. So, um, so first when I get them on the phone, I want to first ask them. So especially if it's an existing customer, which is really the best place to start after your warm market, people who have already used the tech. So I have, a, so those people are on my list. So I'm calling them. I'll say, hey, so how are you doing with the tech? What's your experience been for so far? How are you enjoying it? And let them share with you their experience. Or if it's someone who um, has never tried the tech, you may want to start with your testimonial. 
about the tech. And of course you wanna meet with them before and give them some, um, some reference to wearing and using the product before they actually host their, their side console. So, and then next, after you hear their experience with the tech and how they're doing, then you just transition very naturally into, so, um, you know, I really, I, the reason why I called you is because, you know, I know the kind of person that you are. I know that you're a person like me. You believe in, you know, caring and, you know, sharing, um, you know, for others and, um, and really introducing them to something that could really change the quality of their lives. And so I thought about you because, and you want to give them a reason why you thought about them. You don't, you don't want to make this a blanket, generic invite because, you know, people want to feel like they're part of something exclusive, like they're special, which, which they are. So as, as, as business leaders, when you're meeting people and you're, and you're listening to them, pick up on things that they say, learn something about them that you can reference when you call them to make it personal. Personalization is so key. So, you know, I was noticing something about you or, you know, Jill, there was something that you said or Terry, you know, I saw the way you were really attentive to your, to your mom and you really had this caring spirit. So I thought about you and, um, you know, I just wanted to know if you would like to, you know, simply host a sock and soul party by inviting a few of your friends over so that we can share this amazing technology with them. Of course, I have all the, um, the verbiage you guys written down, but I just kind of give you the gist of what that conversation is. And um, I tell the hosting a sock and soul party is fun and, and your guests will be amazed at the neurotechnology when they try it. And, and they're also gonna gain some valuable information on how to work on their wellness. And you know, the best thing about it is that you don't have to do anything else. I'll do everything else. And uh, I just, you know, just make it just very conversational. Then I'll just throw in, you know, and I also will have a gift for you just for helping with the mission of trying to help a billion people. And this is where you go into the clothes. And this is where people get a little freaked out. And this is where I want you to be very firm and very strong in the belief on what we have at our fingertips. I want you to say to them, Terry, can I count on you to help with the mission? And don't say anything. Don't say, wait for them to respond. And they'll say, yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. Great, I knew I can count on you, Terry. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Um, think about the people you're gonna invite and um, let's get a date on the calendar because I only reserve Tuesdays and Saturdays to do my sock and soul parties and my dates are limited so they get filled up pretty quickly. What date works best for you, a, a Tuesday or a Saturday? Um, I think Saturdays may work best because, you know, work in the, in the, you know, on the weekdays, great. My first available Saturday is October, I don't know, 23rd or whatever. Will that work? No, I think that'll work. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put you down for that date. And I'll send you an email and follow up with you with some more information about that. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. We're going to have a great time. So that's, okay, I had the exact verbiage. I believe in scripts. I don't believe, especially when you're new and even when you're seasoned, I don't believe in winging it because what happens is invariably they're going to throw you a question that's going to be off script and it's going to throw you into this whirlwind. And I don't want, scripts are great. And even my folks that I teach in sales coaching, been around for 15 years doing sales. I said, don't get too full of yourself if you're going to wing this because invariably you're going to get a question and clients or people, prospects have a way of leading you on these rabbit trails. Stick with the script. Do yourself a favor. Okay, so let's kind of review real quick. So I have my fast 50 list. I start out with my 50 names, fresh, new names okay once i call them they roll off that list that's why i have to always keep replenishing it my job is to add two new people minimum to that list a day take some time throughout my day i don't care if it's you know 15 minutes in the morning in the evening an hour whatever it is get on the phone and just contact two people a day from your list and invite them to be a part of the mission Find something special and unique about them to make it personal. Because you don't, I don't ask everyone to have a sock and soul party. I'm not asked because everyone is not a candidate for what I am wanting to do. I'm looking for mission-minded people. I'm very selective. I want people who 
who believe in the mission, who are enthusiastic, who are excited about the neurotech. I don't just want a body. It does me no good to have someone who doesn't want to do this. Host of Sock and Soul, no one shows up, and there's two people, and they're mad about something in life. It's, it's, just, it's, just a, it's not good for any of us. So I'm very selective. So find something personal that you can relate when you go back. Take a note. Use your notepad on your phone or just kind of take, make, make mental notes and then go back and record it so that when you follow up with them, you can share with them something specific about them. Okay, so that's the first two. So two calls a day, asking people to host. This is where people drop the ball, but get excited about it. You have some good news to share. And then the second, the third part of the two plus two plus two, you are going to book, trust me, you are going to book at least two sock and soul parties. Let me give you the math on this. Okay, I'm going to break this down for you. If you're contacting, if you're calling two people a day, let's just say Monday through Friday, all right, and you're contacting two people a day, that's 10 contacts that you've reached out to in that week. I'm gonna be super ultra conservative. I'm talking about for the novice person who's never picked up the phone in their life. You're gonna at least book one. One, I'm being really conservative. One, one sock and soul party. One a week for four weeks. That's four sock and soul parties for the month. You can book them whenever you want. You can do two in a week, one a week, however you want to do it. That's four a month. And I don't have a calculator in front of me, but I've heard some things in the call last week where people are averaging anywhere from $600 per sock and soul party in sales to I heard as high as 1500. So let's just be conservative and just say that you have four sock and soul parties times 600, that's about $2,400 a month that you're earning. Now, I'm going to just ratchet it up just one more because I know most people, when you get really good at start calling and you really get good at your script and it's going to be a progression, you're going to be really good. Those numbers are going to increase the number that you'll book. And so let's just say that we, you book two a week. You're kind, you, you are consistently, there's my word again, the secret sauce is consistency. You're consistently making 10 contacts a week. 10, you pick up the phone and making 10 contacts and you get two. That's $4,800 a month. And that's just in sales. But it gets even better than that. Because not only are you earning at the Sock and Soul Party, but you also are getting in front of people who can give you referrals to other customers, to other people who want to host their own sock and soul parties. And the coup de gras is your next associate could be sitting in that room. Where can you go where you can have a concentrated effort with an audience, a captive audience, where you're going to be able to sell, get future bookings, future product sales referrals, and new associates. I just saw Diane Dinkmeyer do a little calculation. She's my mathematician. I don't know what she put, but look, you can watch the chat. <laughs> anyway, um, that's amazing. You talk about the most efficient, the most effective use of your time of your sock and soul parties. Now, you can do as many as you choose that you want to do based on your schedule. I know my travel schedule is insane, but I also know that the secret sauce is consistency. Even if I did one a week or even two a month, if I consistently did two a month, I will have more business than I had before I started doing them because of the concentrated nature of the number of people I've getting, gotten in that room. So this is something that we can all choose based on our own family obligations, our other obligations. You get your calendar and you mark out your family time, you mark out 
um, work schedules, your full-time job, whatever it is, but then you leave your availability for your side consoles, and those are your available dates. So your dates come at a premium, and you tell your, tell your prospects, hey, I have limited availability, because we do, and that creates urgency. I can tell you that I can gauge the amount of money you're going to earn within the next two months based on your calendar. That's how I gauge the healthiness. I should say, well, the health, not the healthiness, but the health of my business. I can gauge it by how my calendar looks. I know that if I don't have activity booked on my calendar, I'm not going to earn as much money the following month. So if I can just do one thing, keep those blank squares of my availability filled, I know that I will be successful. It's a visual tool. It, it works. Use your calendar as a guide to the success of your business, to gauge the success in your business. Okay, I have five minutes. I'm going to get the rest of this. Okay, hang on. How did time go so fast, Terry? Hey, Angela, don't worry. We got lots of time. Don't okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, so um, just to kind of go back to with those numbers, and you know, Diane Dink fires on. She can kind of do the numbers too, but you realize that two sock and soul parties I'm sorry, four sock and soul parties um, times two. If we double that, that's $4,800 a month. That's $57,000 a year in part-time income. That's amazing. That's amazing for the time that you put into this business doing that, doing those parties. It's amazing. So I want to talk about the final thing. So the two, two people to your Fast 50 list. Make two phone calls a week. You will book two spa parties a week. Two spa parties a week. Diane says $14,250 a year in profit. Thank you, Diane. All right, so let's say we're doing all of our two plus two plus two. Now we have to anchor it with something. This is kind of finishes so up. We need to anchor it. So we're doing it every single day. The anchor to this is accountability. You guys find someone who can hold you accountable to making sure you're doing, you're adding your two, you're making your two dials, and you're working on getting your two bookings. Your bookings will come from your previous activity of your Fast 50 and making the dials. If you do that, the bookings are the net of that, okay? At least two will come from that minimum. The more you do it, the more you practice it, the more you will book, trust me. All right, so the anchor is accountability. So I came across this really cool thing because my team does this thing. They email me, not email me. They text me this cute little two plus two plus two text when they got in the gym, so to speak, with their business and got their two plus two plus two in there. So I didn't, my team doesn't know this yet, but you guys, I came across this new tool. It's a phone app, and it's called WinStreak, W-I-N-S-T-R-E-A-K. You can download it on your phone, and it essentially allows you to set your, your wins for the day. And once you hit your wins, you can fire it off through a text or an email to anyone you choose. And you can also project and tee up your wins the day before. So it's really cool. So it's called Win Streak. It's a great way to hold yourself accountable and to have someone else hold you accountable as well. I love that app, it's great, it's a great way to do it. All right, so we're gonna recap here real quick. We are now in October, we have 90 days into the, now to the end of the year. We have all of this great information, we have the 90 day challenge going on, we have the sock and soul parties are the hottest thing since sliced bread. Now we're gonna go out and we're gonna just like make this count. So I challenge each of us on this call to consistently build your Fast 50 list every single day, to consistently call and dial to prospective hosts or hostesses and invite them to be a part of your mission, to get to a billion, because that's the kind of person they are. Um, also, um, we want to, um, oh, what else I want to say? All right, I'm going to give you the script before we go. So here's the script. So Terry, I'm gonna we're gonna role play real quick. Okay. All right. Love it. And um, then Diane just said hostess gifts are the bonus too. Yes, we got hostess gifts. There's all kinds of benefits of why the host would want to help with the mission. You know, to help others and they benefit as well. 
Okay, so, so I'm calling you Terry on the phone. So ring, ring, hello. Hi. Hey Terry, this is Angela, how are you? Oh, Angela, I'm doing great, how you doing? I am doing fantastic. Do you have a couple of seconds, is this a good time? Sure, yeah, go ahead. We got about 10 great. minutes. Uh, great, Terry. Hey, I'm calling first to check and see how you're doing with your tech. How's it going? Wow, this stuff is uh, pretty incredible. I've been uh, wearing it quite consistently now for two weeks. I think I've really only missed one evening, and uh, I don't know. It's just something makes me feel good. It just There's something about it that makes me feel just better. I really can't explain it. It's weird. That, you know, that, that's the power of the neurotech, Terry. I love it. I'm so glad you're having such great success. Um, and Terry, another reason why I'm calling you is because I know that you and I have a similar philosophy um, of caring and sharing with others, something that we feel could, could be a benefit for them, especially if we know about it and they don't, right? Right, absolutely, for sure. Awesome, awesome. Hang on, print my page of my script. <laughs> Hang on here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Terry, um, I'd like to um, invite you um, to help with, the, with an even bigger mission of helping people to improve their quality of life. Um, um, to, I'm sorry, to help a billion people improve the quality of their life through this amazing neurotech by hosting a fun and informative sock and soul party. Wow. How's that sound? That sounds interesting. I mean, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. And, and what is the mission again? Well, the mission is we're going to try to help a hundred, a billion people wow. improve the quality of their lives. The power of this neural tech. Sure, that that sounds cool. What's involved? Well, you simply just need to invite um, a few friends over to try out this new amazing technology, and um, they're also going to get some amazing information on how to work on their wellness. And don't worry, I'll take care of everything else. You just get the people there. Sure, I think it sounds. I think it sounds like a lot of fun. I'd be happy to host a a, a get together for sure. Can That's awesome. Can That's awesome. Excuse me. Can we drink? Yes, you can. Just make sure you don't sip too much before I get there. <laughs> Absolutely, a little bit of sipping is okay. It's it's okay. Um, so you're right, Terry. Hosting a second soul party is a lot of fun. Your friends will truly be amazed when they try the neurotech firsthand, and they'll also will thank you so much for inviting them and also Tara, i have a gift for you um, for hosting and for helping with the mission so um great i'm so glad i can i'm glad i'm so glad i can count on you and um i have tuesdays and saturdays and blah 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 so i go through the whole time the whole thing with the time and get it on the calendar so all of that's written out practice the script more than i did before i started but go through the script and role play it and go through it but it's simple as that so um that's it, you guys. That's that's how to get them on the calendar, book them. I didn't go through how to do it because you guys have already perfected that with the previous calls on what you actually do at the Sock and Soul. But it's all about getting it on the calendar, booking, booking. Do we have some questions, Tara? I saw some questions popping up there. Yeah, we have um, just a few questions. Um, Tiffany says the associates that host the parties are they buying the big kits? Because when I look at the numbers, if you're looking at online orders through Vox at 25% and having to pay for the hostess gifts based on what the lit literature says out of pocket, I'm not seeing it. And so really we're talking about the hostess just using her place to help you build your business in the start and you're rewarding the hostess for that, correct? Yes. Yeah, so I just sent a note to Tiffany and said I'd be happy to explain how that works. Um, all the literature on how to host a sock and soul party is in your back office um, so we can help Tiffany uh, out with that for sure. Um, one of the cool things that really really resonated um, tonight with your your fast 50 list I love it because that's really your garden you know that's really where you're drawing prospects from and what I see a lot of times Angela, is people don't have a list so you know they're they're marketing themselves you know on social media or whatever but there's no seeds. So marketing is your watering and you're watering no seeds. So that fast 50 list becomes your seeds and that's incredible. So um, that was a great point that I took in today is that 50 list. I, um, and you know, you can come up with 50 people pretty quick. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. To me, I, I feel good when I know that I have this nice 
fresh list. It's not all beat up and it's just, it's fresh. I roll people off. That's a psychological thing for me because if I know I've already contacted this person three or four times and, you know, they said, well, let me think about it. Get back with me. And when I make the contact, they're off the list. I might put them in some kind of reservoir somewhere where I can contact them. I have nothing else better to do 10 years down the road. But right now there are so many hot, prospects of people that I need to get to. I don't have time for the people who are hemming and hawing. There are too many other people. So I'm excited. When I get on the phone, it's just my time. It's called, again, I talked about this last time. It's like my Fort Knox. I go in to get the gold. That's the, that's where the rubber meets the road. I get excited about it. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not there all day. I'm just there, you know, I'm making two calls. Of course, I'm type A. I'll do four or five. Yes, I'll, I'll bump it up. But I don't want to overwhelm most people. I will do, definitely will do five or six because like once you get one, then you're on a roll. You want to keep going, so it's awesome. And I and I think what's really what really resonated with me tonight, Angela, is the fact that you know we have to be consistent. You know, we really have to be consistent. Um, next week, did, because it's Thanksgiving here in um, in Canada next weekend, so we might change the night uh, of the call to Tuesday. Um, we haven't decided whether we might move it for a week. Um, we're not quite sure yet, but anyway, I want to talk to people a little bit more about being consistent. And I think Paul Austin and I are going to host a call next week and do some training next week based on Facebook, social media, and the importance of being consistent with social media as well. Not only are we having to be consistent with what we do in the two plus two plus two, if that's what people are choosing to embrace, but being consistent in your RPAs, revenue producing actions, whatever they may be is so so important because people are watching and people are seeing how serious you are about what you're doing because they're not going to join you if they don't think you're serious right absolutely consistency is key i think it's such a vital component yes absolutely yes revenue producing activities absolutely you got to be focused on those things because we can get distracted i call it creative avoidance sometimes where we we creatively avoid doing our disciplines of our two plus two plus two because you know so like or the phone will ring or we'll get a facebook notification or that somebody will have a crisis and so we conveniently neglect sure. doing what's going to be producing revenue in our business and we have to guard that over everything else because that's but puts food on the table, right? So if you want to build something solid, you have to be diligent and be protective over the time that you put in this business and on and, and doing your disciplines. Yeah, and I, and I think that um, for people that are new in the, in the, in the business, I'm, I'm really excited because I put a post up there. This is the first time we've been over 100 people on our training call. So That's kudos, awesome. Kudos to everybody on this call. We've been close before. We've been in the 80s and the low 90s. And, and I, I just congratulate everybody for getting on the calls. These are so vital, these calls and training and review. And, and by being here, we pick up nuggets every time. And I know I do. And I just look so forward to the calls every, every uh, week because there's always something I take away. And again, to be pounded in this consistency thing. You know, we have to be consistent. And those that are, are being consistent, you can see the successes. You know, I know that, Angela, you got to direct there pretty darn quick. You were consistent and you were focused and you were, your vision and your mission was to hit that director rank. You knew how you had to get it. You were consistent on your, on your um, steps to get there and you achieved it. I mean, it's all part of, of that consistent effort and consistent effort becomes habits, becomes habits. Absolutely. I'm pulling up here. I have, I built my business up to this point because I'm getting, because I'm launching my sock and soles, but on just doing my two plus two plus two, making two contacts a day, sending out that text with the video. Yeah. You know, that's how I got to director. So I can't, I can't even imagine it's going to be off the charts now with having a consolidated audience. Yeah. to be able to maximize um, all of the potency of Vox. But I do have my, here's my, can you see it? Probably can't see it here, but I don't know. It's kind of light. This is my memo section. You probably can't see it because it's probably too. too this bright. is my hit list. I keep my hit list. It's too bright. Yeah, I, keep, um, I have a hit list that I have used, and it's, been, it's all on my phone of my Fast 50. 
that's yeah. grown because there were so many people that gave me referrals as I was contacting people about the technology. I would always use your strategy, Terry. Well, you know, who do you know that we can help? Who do you know that, that, that would need this? And so I would get names. And so my fast 50 became my fast 60 and then 70. And just, so I'm never without. And then speaking of social media, I put that post on Facebook after the Toronto conference, just because my spirit led me to do it. It wasn't anything contrived or rehearsed. I'm still fielding calls from that, from uh, private mean, messages from that. Call, so That call was awesome. That live. That putting you- that. Put that, put those testimonies out there, you guys. I mean, put those testimonies out there and just do, you know, a, all prong approach to it. So, but this but talk, is something. But sock and soul parties, as we talked about, using your system to lead up to sock and soul parties. One thing that really, really, you know, that I've learned, the shows, the wellness shows, big events are all good, but they're exhausting at times because what happens at an event is you have so many fresh people keep coming into your booth you have to continue to tell your story over and over and over and over yes. and over and over again. And that gets exhausting. Now it's great practice. Don't get me wrong. But the nice thing about having a sock and soul party either that you host in your home or that a friend hosts on your behalf where you're supplying product and so on is you only have to tell it once. Yes. You might have 30 people in the room or 15 people or five people. You only have to tell the story once. So it's way less tiring it's way less inhibiting, um, you know, it, and, and it's, it's easier to do in the comfort of your own home or the comfort of a friend's home. And you can have fun with it. You can have some more dirge, you can have a glass of wine, you can, you can make it light, right? Play videos, exactly. whatever. Exactly. Just, just make it light and fun. And, you know, someone just put on there on the chat, I saw, you know, you can make great connections face to face. You can have to spend time and really develop those relationships. But I, mean, I want to just tell everyone, don't feel like you have to be perfect don't don't feel like you have to have all the answers or it has to be just right just go out and just have fun and I remember I was I got so good at the last company I was with doing these these parties and things that people would say wow you're so good it's like I could never do what you do so I started making mistakes on purpose I started like fumbling and stuttering and you know losing things and just because I want people to, you know, I want to be real. And that's what people appreciate. That Then they'll know that they can do it too. Because I'm looking for associates, quite frankly. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yes, I want to sell, but I'm also looking for associates. So the easier I can make this look and duplicatable, the better. Yeah, that's, um, that's fabulous. Well, I, you know, and I just can't even go through the, the chat group, how many people appreciate you, Angela, um, and Diane's on the call, and Amy's part of your team, and, and I'm excited because I'm going to have those ladies to train pretty soon too. Um, we all are learning so much and we all have so much to offer. And it's about what you said. It's about being real, being honest, um, pure intent, sharing what we have, but important to experience and share your own story. I remember when you put that post on that video and I just saw ding, 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 ding. I mean, it just came in because you were sharing, you know, what your what you felt with Summer in the City and what you were sharing. That was important for you to share that with people and that resonated with people. And yes. um, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, more about the importance of your testimonial, your story, um, because what you have to share when it becomes real and it becomes yours and you hold on to that and you share that with people from pure intent, um, it, it resonates with people and you will change people and you continue to be consistent you continue to add people to your list. Yes. You continue to, um, you know, send out your vibe and it will attract a new, a, a new tribe. I can assure you and embrace this and cannonball in and go for it. Whether it's part-time, whether it's full-time, we don't really like sometime. Um, exactly. Right? We go for exactly. this and we do it. And again, as always, Angela, you knocked it out of the park tonight. I'm sure, I'm sure that everybody's going to be watching this recording just to answer some of the questions on here. Um, there, yes, the call will be recorded. I will have it up probably within the hour. Um, there's a ton of thanks on here. Sorry if we didn't get to all of your questions. Uh, this is so powerful. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us, Angela. Thanks for hosting. Oh, sorry. That was me. Um, thank you so much, <laughs> for your genuine advice and great tips. Um, 
great questions, Trish. And I am Friday Groom instead of a biz page. Next week's call on social media, blah, blah, blah. Great stuff. Great stuff. Awesome. It's my pleasure as always. I love this team. I love this company. I love our mission. And um, any way I can help, I'm always here. You guys have given me so much. If I just the post on Fox Nation, everyone's generosity, and just I love the culture. And yeah, I love don't we, have a, don't we have a great feel? Doesn't it's it? It's a great it's special. It really is special. It yeah, really is special. I think it is too. So on behalf of the field, thank you. Thank you again. My pleasure. Awesome call. The recording will be up, folks, within the hour. Watch it again. There's great points here. Watch it two or three times. If you lose it on the feed, because it'll it sometimes gets pushed through, all you do is go into the search bar, type in team recording with the date or Angela Brown's name, and it will come up in the feed uh, as, uh, as the search engine finds it for you. You don't have to scroll through the feed. Search it out. And away we go. So thank you. God bless everybody for being on the call tonight. Great call. And look forward to um, more calls down the road. So I'm just going to unmute everybody. <laughs> Say good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good Tomorrow.